Welcome to Belen Fernandez. Yes, it's me. Hi, I'm Immigration Officer Andrew Mitravica. I've been assigned to conduct your interview today. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Follow me, please. Sure. Put everything on the chair. Please remain standing. I'm going to swear you in. Please raise your right hand. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I do. Sit down, please. Thank you. Have you been waiting a long time to talk to me? No, it's just 20 minutes only. How was the traffic getting here? Traffic was heavy this morning. Did you do anything fun over the weekend? Not really. I was preparing for this interview. Don't worry, you'll be fine. How do you feel now? I'm a little bit nervous but also excited about this interview. I hope the interview won't take too long. Show me your green card, your state identification card. Or your notice that you received from USCIS and your passport or any re-entry permit. Thank you. Sorry, officer, my passport expired last month. Is that an issue? That's not a problem as long as you're not traveling anywhere soon. Okay, as a part of the naturalization process, there are a couple of things I need to do before the interview. It'll just take a few minutes. I need to take your picture and scan your fingerprints right here. Can you please move one step closer and look at the camera in front of you? Sure. All right. Now can you please place your right index finger and then switch to your left index finger on the scanner? Everything is perfect. How are you today? I'm good thanks and how about you? I'm great. Thank you. Tell me why you are here today? I'm here for my U.S. citizenship interview. Why do you want to become a U.S. citizen? I want a better life for my son, and I really want to vote in the next election. How long have you been waiting for your interview since you filed your application? I have been waiting for around three months. Have you studied for the civics test? Yes, I've studied hard since I applied. Great. What version of the civics test did you study? I studied the 100 official civics questions 2008 version. That's the correct one.
Sounds like you're ready for the test. Yes, I am ready for the test. I'm going to conduct the civics test right now. Do you have any questions before we start? No, I don't have any questions. Please say the answers loudly for me. What is the name of the Speaker of the House of Representatives now? Mike Johnson. What group of people was taken to America and sold as slaves? Africans. What ocean is on the west coast of the United States? Pacific Ocean. What does the president's cabinet do? Advises the president. Where is the Statue of Liberty? New York Harbor. Who is the Chief Justice of the United States now? John Roberts. Good. You passed the civics test since you got six answers correct. I'll move on to the English reading and writing test now. We'll administer the test on this tablet. Can you see a sentence that appeared on the tablet? Yes, I can see it. Can you read that sentence out loud for me? When is Flag Day? I will read a sentence. Please use a stylus to write the sentence on the tablet. Let me know if you need me to repeat. Flag Day is in June. Great job! Now I will review your application form to make sure everything is correct. You swore an oath at the beginning. Do you know what it means? Yes, it means I would tell the truth. Awesome! What is your current legal name? Belen Fernandez. Is Fernandez your last name? Yes. What is your first name? Belen. Have you used any other names since you got your green card? No, I haven't used any other name. Some people change their name when they become U.S. citizen. So, would you like to change your current name? No, officer. Is that the same name as on your green card? Yes, it is. You got your green card through your brother, is this correct? Yes, it's correct. Where were you born? I was born in Mexico. So you are a citizen of Mexico. Yes, I am a citizen of Mexico. Do you have dual citizenship in other countries? No, I'm only a citizen of Mexico. When did you become a permanent resident? I became a permanent resident on March 7, 2018.
Please tell me your phone number. I'm sorry, I changed my phone number two months ago. The new number is 21157392874. Can you please update this for me? Yes, I'm updating it right now. Do you have a different phone number at work? No. Do you have an email address? Yes. What is your email address? b.fernandez at hotmail.com What is your current address? 227 North Avenue 50 Los Angeles, California 90042 Your spouse lives with you at your current address? Yes, we are living together. Is your current mailing address the same as your home address? Yes, it is. How long have you lived at the current address? Three years. When did you move to this address? I moved to this address on October 30, 2020. Where did you live before? 11459 Newberry Drive, Frisco, Texas 75035. Did you also live with your spouse at this address? Yes, officer. I lived at this address also with my spouse. What is your birthday? May 19, 1991. I am sorry, I have an error on my N-400 application. Can you please correct my date of birth for me? Sure, hold on please. Thank you. Do your parents live here? No. My parents live in Mexico. Your parents are not U.S. citizens, is that correct? Yes, that is correct. Tell me your social security number, please. 757-87-9876 Do you have any individual disabilities that require accommodation? No. Are you married? Yes, I am. How many times have you been married? One time. What is your spouse's full name? His name is Jim Acosta. What is his date of birth? May 23, 1983. Is he a U.S. citizen? Yes, he just became a U.S. citizen last year. What is your spouse's current job? He is a driver at BJ's Wholesale Club, Incorporated. All right, how many children do you have? I have one child. What is your child's name? 
His name is Richard Acosta. How old is your child? He is eight years old. Is your child biological to you? Yes, he is. Do you and your spouse have any adopted children? No, we don't. Were your parents married before you 18th birthday? Yes, officer. Did any of your trips last six months or longer? No, officer. When was your last trip outside the United States? May 17, 2023. What was the purpose of that trip? I went on vacation with my family. How many total days did you spend outside the United States in the last five years? Totally I spent 150 days outside the United States in the last five years. All right, have you ever received any public benefits since you came to the U.S.? No, I haven't received any public benefits since I came to the U.S. All right, do you have a job currently? Yes, I do. Who is your current employer? LBA Logistic. What is your position there? I'm a computer systems engineer. How long have you been working for them? I have been working for three years. So you worked there since you moved to California? Yes, it's correct. Do you know the employer's address? 1130 North Kramer Boulevard, Anaheim, California 92806. Did you work at Property Shark before that? Yes, that's correct. What did you do there? I was an administrative assistant. How long have you worked there? I worked there about three years. What date did you leave this job? I left this job on August 9, 2017. Have you worked anywhere else in the last five years? No, that's it. How tall are you and how much do you weigh? I am 5'4 and 117 pounds. You've been a permanent resident for five years, is that right? Yes. Have you ever voted in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? No, officer. Why not? Because I am not a U.S. citizen. Have you, have you ever been a prostitute or procured anyone for prostitution? No, never. Have you ever been a habitual drunkard? No. 
Did you ever serve in any place where people were forced to stay? No. Have you ever received a suspended sentence, been placed on probation, or been paroled? No. Have you ever been married to more than one person at the same time? No. If the law requires it, are you willing to perform non combatant services in the U.S. Armed Forces? Yes. Are you willing to take the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Yes, I am. What is the oath of allegiance to the United States? A promise to be loyal to the United States. Have you ever been placed in an alternative sentencing or a rehabilitative program? No. Have you ever been discharged from training or service in the U.S. Armed Forces because you are an alien? No. Have you ever been declared legally incompetent or been confined to a mental institution? No. Have you ever persecuted any person because of race, religion, national origin, membership in a particular social group, or political opinion? No. Have you ever made any misrepresentation to obtain any public benefit in the United States? No. What is public benefit? Welfare like food stamps, housing, education, health care. Have you? Were you ever involved in not letting someone practice his or her religion? No. Have you ever lied to any U.S. government officials to gain entry or admission into the United States or to gain immigration benefits while in the United States? No. If the law requires it, are you willing to bear arms on behalf of the United States? Yes, I'm willing. Have you ever filed a federal, state, or local tax return since you became a lawful permanent resident? Yes, I filed taxes return every year since I came to the U.S. Have you ever committed assisted in committing or attempted to commit a crime or offense for which you were not arrested? No. Did you ever sell, give, or provide weapons to any person? No. Have you ever told someone that you are a U.S. citizen? No. Have you ever been a worker, volunteer, or soldier in a prison camp? No. What is prison or jail? A place where prisoners are kept. Were you ever involved in any way with killing or trying to kill someone? No, officer. Do you understand the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Yes, I do. Have you ever been convicted of a crime or offense? No. What does to be convicted mean? To be found guilty of a crime under the law. 
Have you ever been removed, excluded, or deported from the United States? No. Have you ever helped anyone to enter or try to enter the United States illegally? No. Have you ever been ordered, removed, excluded, or deported from the United States? No, officer. If the law requires it, are you willing to perform work of national importance under civilian direction? Yes. Congratulations. You passed your citizenship interview. Thank you so much. Now please review the updated application on the tablet and make sure if your information is correct then please sign the last page. Everything looks good. Thank you for updating my application. I also need you to sign the Oath of Allegiance section. Please read it carefully before you sign. We will send you a notice for the oath ceremony within a month. You still have an important step that needs to be done to become a U.S. citizen. Make sure you attend the oath ceremony as scheduled. You'll probably receive it in three weeks. Do you have any questions at this point? No, I'm good. I don't have any questions. You are most welcome. Let me walk you back to the customer service area. Thank you. You are welcome and have a good day.